Welcome everyone. Today in Giraffe we're going to be discussing some techniques on how to draw. So I've already gone ahead and um, drawn this shape on the screen. This is one of my towers and throughout this session I'm going to be looking to draw another tower on the right hand side here. So in the previous session we did discuss the drawing toolbar up the top. If you would like to check that out um, please skip back in the series to have a look at that one. But what we're going to do today is look at some basic drawing controls and techniques. So we do encourage um, when you are drawing to draw in 2D mode as that just allows further control over your geometry. So I can go down to the little toggle button in the map controls, select 2D, that will bring me into 2D mode or you can hit T on your keyboard as well is the shortcut. So the first thing I want to do is just draw a rectangle um, because I want to introduce a bit of a podium as well like I've got over here and maybe that's a retail component. So. We can go up to the drawing tools, basic shapes, select rectangle here or R on your keyboard does the same thing. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle through this shape here. So I'm sort of happy with that. I'm going to toggle into 2D mode and I want to assign this a usage. So previously um, we mentioned the drawing toolbar and you can draw a building straight away from here. But we can also start from a piece of geometry and then add a usage to that. So with that geometry selected, if I go over to the usage tab and let's select, um, we want the ground floor to be retail. So if I just search for retail, introduce that and we can see I've got my two levels of retail, which I'm happy with. I now want to add a residential tower on top of that. So I'm just going to control C, control V, stack that on top. And you'll notice that these two geometries that I've drawn they have a stack order property. And so you need to make sure if you get any conflict in where they're trying to compete for um, the top above each other or below each other is to make sure that the stack order of the higher one is always above. Um, and I'm just going to select the top one and change the usage to residential. And now I've got my residential tower atop and I can start to increase those levels with the properties panel or Q&A on my keyboard also does the same thing. And now that we've got our tower, we want to start introducing some articulation um, into the facade. So if I select my geometry, toggle into 2D mode, and I've got a number of controls when we create geometry and we've got a, a drag feature here. Um, and we've got a number of nodes that we can sort of click and hold and drag around to um, manipulate that geometry further. So I'll just undo that. And we can also be quite precise in our drawing. So if I want to pull this back from the podium, let's say three meters, I type in three on my keyboard and that'll snap back to three meters. So that's, that's quite nice there. If we want to introduce some articulation into this form, um, we can add nodes along the line. So we can segment that line into two by selecting um, that middle node. And now I can drag this portion, um, which will separate that and introduce that articulation. If we change our mind, we can also click to delete. And so I can remove those and we can drag this one back and by holding shift will allow us to snap back into that 90 degree plum angle there. So, um, we can play with that form um, quite fluidly as well. And so now if I toggle back into my 3D mode, um, I can also do the same from the 3D mode and start to drag and push this geometry to how I want it to fit on my site. So um, a lot of flexibility there in how we draw in giraffe.